later in the video. Oh! I was not expecting that to happen. Modern day cricket bats like this one now cost upwards of £400. But what if I could tell you, you could get yourself one for just five? This is the Power Play 2020, and I think it's just about the cheapest cricket bat on the market. The only thing left to do is to get this ordered, and I'll see you guys in a few days. Yes, it's here. So it is a bit early to be recording, but it has now arrived, uh, and I'm too impatient to wait. So here it is. It's an absolute, it is actually way too thin. Uh, for comparison, let me get an actual bat. So this is an actual hardball bat, one that won't break when we use hardballs on it. And then this is what this bat looks like. I don't have much faith, but um, it's got a nice pickup because it's so incredibly light. I, and I can definitely see myself hitting a few of this. Uh, in, in regards to the actual wood, it's... Um, not the best wood. I don't even know what wood it is. It's definitely the time to check out the middle on this bad boy. Are we ready? In three, two, one. Oh. That is... Oh, what was I expecting? I mean, that is just... But yeah, that's brilliant. So let's head out to the nets and let's see what we're getting down. Good power of editing. Let's jump to the cricket nets. I, I can't really click. Oh, and if you are new here, please consider subscribing. Let's get to it. Right, I've got the bat, got it here, and we've got a bowling machine wearing up, and we're gonna get going. Get facing some balls with this beautiful bat. It's so light. No run. Yep, yeah, two. Lovely sound. Oh, it's got a cherry. <laughs> well so far. No real dents. It's not bad. Got in. I just, I, it's so weird to use because it's so like, so light. You're so quick on everything. Little back check after the few balls. We've got a few cherries on there, uh, and we've got a few dents as well. But I'm gonna start trying to hit it a little bit harder now. Oh, it's left a massive seam mark. <laughs> it does not sound good. No damage checkup. We've got a lot. Not sure why I didn't mention the fact that the edges now look like squiggly lines, but there you go. A little dent in there on the edge, and then a few seam marks going along here. But it's holding up quite nicely. Um, we're gonna keep going, and we'll see what else happens. Whoa! Well, no, not with a normal bat, but yeah, with this. So just to take a quick break from all those horrible noises, I'm going to use the neon bat uh, and show you what it's, it's supposed to sound like when you hit cricket balls, because that is not what it's supposed to sound like. Oh no! Yeah, it definitely sounds a lot nicer. Let me just correct your view there. There we are. So we're going to get back to the, uh, the horrible bat. I'm going to shout my hands a little bit more and we'll see if we can break it. Oh, that's... That's come out the middle. I mean, if there is a middle on this. Yeah, that's right in the middle, massive crater. No. No run. Oh! Oh! That's early. Yeah, that is early. <laughs> I was not expecting that to happen. I was expecting it to snap maybe near the blade, but... Um, it, it's gone by the handle uh, on a defensive shot. To conclude, this video has left me with two pieces of a bad cricket bat, four stumps which are about the size of toothpicks, and one ball that I've already lost. But I hope it's given you some entertainment. With that being said, I'll see you next time. Click here to see a video of me attempting to catch cricket balls with butterfingers. Literally.